Good morning, guys. We're gonna take Gatsby to the Corgi meetup. This is not the beach meetup. It's gonna be a few Corgis there. We usually go like once a month. Ready to go? He's so excited. We'll see you guys there. Corgis can't fix bullet holes. You say sorry, just a shot. Ah, the song. We've been sitting in traffic for like an hour right now. There's cars like everywhere. We're gonna go to a different dog park. There's gonna be no corgis there. If the traffic's this bad, there's gonna be nobody. I don't know, it must be an event or something going on. Okay, so we made it to another dog park here. Gatsby. Yeah, this feels so good. Today, I thought that I would do a video about something that I think would help a lot of you guys who are in college or thinking about going to college. These are the top five courses that I think every college student should take because of how useful it will be after college. Number one, managerial communication. This is a business writing and communication class. I think that is the most important class to take. In school, all I learned, and I know all a lot of people learned how to write, is essay writing or expository writing, which unfortunately is not useful at all in like real world applications. Everyone in the real world uses business writing, whether it's writing a memo or writing just information in order to communicate because essay writing is not a way to communicate with other people. It is like a totally different way of writing that you need to really just relearn how to write because I thought in the beginning of the course, I was like, why do I need to take this? This is so easy, I know how to write. I remember in my first job, I used my new business writing skills in order to communicate and everyone was like so amazed. People were responding to my emails saying like, oh my gosh, it was so clear. How did you write this so well? Number two, I didn't take this, but I wish I had personal finance class. Everyone has to pay taxes. It is best to learn all the ins and outs without getting screwed over. I actually ended up after graduating having to hire an accountant and he taught me everything. But it would have been so much more useful if I had actually taken a class. You'll learn stuff like opening a Roth IRA and the different strategies you can use when you're filing your taxes every year. So it's definitely very important and I highly suggest that you do that. Number three, human resources, HR. I remember when my HR professor came into the class, he walked in on the first day and was like, let's be, let's be honest, raise your hand if you think you're gonna go into human resources. And of course, nobody raised their hand. And then our dean walks in to one of our classes and our professor says to the dean, would you like to stay and learn about human resources? And the dean's like, no thanks, I have better ways to waste my time. But seriously, HR is so important. If you're gonna end up working at a company or in any job or start your own job, you need to know all the rules and all the laws about what you can say, what you're covered for. If you are one of the workers, there's so many things that you need to know about that companies can't take advantage of you for. So I would highly suggest HR. I put it as number three. Number four, a class that teaches you in depth the Microsoft Suite. That includes Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. You may be saying to yourself, I already know those things. I thought I knew it so well. When I was in high school, I was like, I'm so good at, like, I knew Excel. Like, I took all of those classes. I don't mean like the simple things like, oh, how to like create a pivot table or something like that on Excel. And if you don't even know what that means, I, you need to take the class. The thing is that in the real life, world, everybody uses PowerPoint, Excel, and Microsoft Word. And you have to create these big projects or like presentations for work. Very, very important to have. People are like, oh my gosh, how did you do that? How do you, like, I didn't know that these, the software could do these kinds of things. So try to find a class that actually teaches this. I would say in a business way. Number five, some kind of programming class. I'm not a programmer, but I find that like now in today's day and age, you can't get around without like having a basic understanding of 
some kind of programming language. And I would say you can just choose whatever programming language you want to learn. If you want to learn um, just like basic HTML, CSS stuff that's for designing websites, I think that, that that's totally fine. I took a class on Visual Basic for Applications, VBA, which is a process of writing code in order to have it execute different commands and applications on your computer. And it, it would really bring you up to a higher level when you're looking for a job. I know that when I was applying for my first job, they really, really liked it too. They're like, oh, and you know Visual Basic for Applications, VBA? Even though you were in marketing strategy, you learned a programming language, and so they were very happy with that. Of course, different programs are uh, work different ways, but one thing is similar in that is like the way that programmers execute code and code. I never took a class in HTML or JavaScript or any of those kinds of things. And as you saw, like I'm like I'm able to code and do stuff just because I took like that Visual Basic for Applications class. I was able to teach myself a few other programming languages. So those are the top five classes I think everybody should take and it's the most useful things for life after college. If you already graduated from school, what do you think about the list? Is there a class that you would add to the list? Put it in the comments below. I hope I helped you guys out in choosing your next courses for course enroll period. Okay guys, I'm headed off to the gym. I'll see you guys there. You guys notice, look, white whiskers because the side of his face is white. And this side, where it's brown, his whiskers are black. See? See that? Hee <laughs> hee! Isn't that cool? And I just did a water change to try to keep the aquarium nice and happy. Looks pretty good. Crystal clean waters. I'm at Target right now. Can I grab some more light bulbs? This is the closest thing they have to cuties. Citrus. And the cereal aisle. I still don't have a cereal that I like eating. But these were pretty good last time. And I love Love Crunch too. I know who this is now, Bella Thorne. Because I saw Alexander in the Terrible, Horrible, and Logan thing that day. When I was watching the movie, I was like, that girl looks really familiar. And then I was like, oh yeah, she was on the Coco Pebbles box. As you guys pointed out, mega stuffed Oreos. That sounds fantastic. Marketing packaging immediately makes you think this dog food is healthy. Even if it's not. Corgi, Corgi. Okay, head it out now. All my groceries. Okay, gotta go right back home now. One back home. I'm gonna head up and meet up with my friend Bernard, and we're gonna go and grab some dinner and catch up because I haven't seen him in a while. And then we're gonna watch that movie Inside Out. My favorite Pixar director, Pete Docter, who did Up and Monsters Inc. So I'm super excited for those two things. So first, I'm running late already, so I gotta run. If you ain't on a team, you playing for Team D. Cause we A-listers, we paid sisters. This watch right here didn't phase lizards. I confess I woke up like this. I was drinking my cup like this. Never been to this place before. It's called like Blue Line Pizza. Oh look, eBay's right there. We're here, we got spicy meatballs, and there's Bernard again. What's Hi. up? Got some pizza, I'm excited. I have the pizza here. Pesto chicken and like Italian. So Bernard was the one who got, he doesn't even own a Wii U or a 3DS and he had, he had to get, he saw my Fox Amiibo, the Star Fox Amiibo, he was like, I gotta get this, I have to get it, I'll buy it. So he went on, we went on Craigslist and we found one for him. He doesn't even have a way to use it. I got him to get an Amiibo. <laughs> and a pretty good rare one too. This pizza was like destroying us. We're so, uh, this because it has so much stuff on it. I survived the pizza. It's gone. Oh. We're at the theater right now, grabbing the movie tickets. <laughs> they have Nintendo commercials in the theater. Luckily, there's no kids in the theater. It's all adults. Everywhere. Oh, it's done. Bernard fell asleep <laughs> for like a second. So what did I think of Inside Out? Obviously, I am a Pixar fanatic. I would say they make movies for adults that cater to kids versus making a kids movie that caters to adults. I had such high expectations for this movie because I pulled Pixar to like, like the best movies ever made. A lot of people were just like, oh, I was so surprised it was so sad and I was surprised like it was so good and I was like, Really? I was 
expecting everything. I was expecting it to be the best movie ever made. So in that sense, it really wasn't. But it was still very good and very smart. I did think that the animation, like the amount of detail that they put into this one, was not as much as other Pixar movies, like the recent ones, such as Monsters University or um, Toy Story 3. I will say it was very, very, very good. Like, very good. It just wasn't my favorite Pixar movie of all time. Having said that, the mini-movie, Lava, was my favorite and anim like, animated short ever. That was so good. My friend Christy, she was like, I cried in that. And I heard people in the audience too, they were like crying from that, from the mini-movie. A lot of people said they cried like multiple times in the movie. I didn't actually get to the point of crying versus like up or, or Toy Story 3, which I was like almost gonna bawl. It was just more conceptually similar to Monsters Incorporated. So my final review for Inside Out out of the four stars would have to be three and a half stars. It was very, very, very good. Just not my favorite movie of the year. But what did you guys think? Put in the comments below. Anyway, I am like falling asleep right now, so I'm gonna head to bed. See you guys later. Good night. Hey guys, I just posted a video on Gatsby's channel, Great Gatsby Corgi. Make sure to check it out and subscribe. Hey guys, guess what? Look what I got in the mail! It's <gasps> more Amiibos. It's not for you, Gatsby. These are the ones that came out in Asia, and I got it from Play Asia, which sounds like a sex toy store. Let's get our scissors and open it up. See what I got. So I just decided to order them from Asia instead because 